Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. So in today's video... Hey. Look, man. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, man, I'll give you whatever I want. Just please, don't hurt my baby. <laughs> man, that's a video game character. Alright, look, I'll cut you a deal. A deal? Yes, a deal. It's very simple. I want you to make a video on one of the best roguelike games of all time. A game so good, it redefined the genre. But, where can I possibly find a game like that? Welcome to Enter the Gungeon! This is a game where you play as humans who shoot guns. Your goal is to kill bullets who shoot guns with your own guns that shoot bullets, which is sometimes a bullet that shoots guns that shoots bullets. It's very easy. The game starts you off here, in the tutorial room. You meet this guy named Manny, which is short for manual. Get it? He he's a manual. He teaches you stuff. Comedy. You get taught how to open doors, flip tables, and the most important mechanic in this game, dodge rolling. You're then given a weapon of pure annihilation. That even the gods themselves are scared of what they've created. It is the one and only pea shooter. It's a literal pea shooter. You are now presented with your first enemy in the game, the standard bullet kin. You're then told to murder him. So... After some adventuring, you notice a crack in the wall. So you quickly Google how to open the crack in the wall and discover it's by using a blank. Blanks are one-time usable items that clear every bullet on screen. They also open secret walls, apparently, so that's pretty cool. After using a blank and entering the hole, you're granted with what is the current state of Manuel's old body. You're given his shield and helmet, which gives you a whole lot of armor. After progressing through and killing some more bosses, you're shown this nightmare, and after entering it, Manny will greet you. After his dialogue, you will begin smashing his skull into too many pieces to put him back together again. <laughs> you are then allowed to enter the gungeon. This game is a really cool level system, so before you unlock any special secret areas, this game has five total floors. In order, they go Keep of the Lead Lord, Gungeon Proper, Black Powder Mine, Hollow, Forge. After progression, it also unlocks five new floors, one secret floor that is discovered through a puzzle. If the amount of floors didn't already excite you enough, get a load of this. There's also like a lot of weapons in this game. As if it wasn't cool enough that there were this many weapons in the game, there are also a ton of passive and active ability items. As if it wasn't cool enough that there were this many weapons and this many items, there are also a ton of enemies. As if it wasn't cool enough that there were this many weapons and this many items and this many enemies, there are also a ton of bosses. As if- I swear to god. As if everything I said before didn't tickle your fancy enough, when you combine certain items you'll be blessed with a synergy. Synergies are not a new concept. However, in this game, a single synergy could be enough to kill the final boss with ease. The synergy is called Anti-Chamber. It needs a gun called the Dark Marker and a passive item called the Antibody, which literally just makes you immune to poison. But when you combine the two, get a load of this. Dark Marker alternates between firing red and blue shots that become very slow and large after traveling a short distance. If any red and blue shots touch, the blank effect is activated. Basically, you become invincible. <laughs> <laughs> or the one titled Behold. <laughs> Another cool mechanic is the curse mechanic. You see, to make the game not totally broken, certain very powerful items give you a curse value. If your curse value reaches 10 in total, this fucker shows up. Do you see how scary he is? Not to mention he is 100% immortal, even against cheat commands, does an entire heart upon hitting you, and he follows you from room to room. As if that wasn't enough. He even follows you floor to floor, like, Bro, I don't have any money, leave me alone! Please, bruv, I'm literally begging! The bosses have a wide variety of names, but they all follow the same general guideline. They are puns about guns. Who's this guy? The cattling gull. <laughs> okay. Oh, he looks spooky. Ammo Conda. <laughs> Alright, I finally got to the final boss. I wonder what his name is. Drag gun? 
<laughs> when you kill bosses, you are given these items called hedge money credits. You can then spend your hedge money credits to buy new items from the merchants you unlock along the way. Box. Yeah, that seems useful. Do 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 Hey man, I can steal whatever I want. Don't call me a thief. Oh my god! Oh shit! You can unlock NPCs that are not merchants too. This guy, for example, will allow you to skip to a certain floor of your choosing and also play the boss rush mode. This guy makes it so every chest you open is a rainbow chest. And in case you don't know what a rainbow chest does, then have a look at this. The money. They are pretty good. Once you've been playing the game a while, you can even start unlocking new characters such as this guy. A, a bullet. Oh, look at that. Now I'm a bullet, shooting a bullet which shoots guns which shoots bullets in order to kill other bullets who shoot guns that fire bullets. Shakespeare's been real quiet after this game came out. This game is a truly refreshing and relaxing experience. Oh my god! It's a game that you can sink hours into without even realizing you ever sat down. You could easily spend weeks straight playing this game and never get bored, I promise you. Give this game a try, you won't regret it. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking burn down the villages of everybody. And with that being said, the video is over. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. How's your day been? Mine's been so fantastic, thanks to all you guys. My last most popular video got 100 views in three weeks. But my latest got the same amount in under a day. For that, I can't thank you guys enough. Starting with this video, I'll be implementing a new system with my channel. I feel like this will help me strive to become better and more consistent. I'm planning on uploading two videos a week. However, if a video hits 100 views in a day, I will upload a video the next exact day. This could mean that I upload two videos a week or seven. It's up to you guys. I want to give myself something to strive for. And now you guys have a direct and immediate impact on how my videos get pushed out. Basically, the more you guys support, the more I upload. I hope you guys did indeed enjoy it. If you did, then be sure to do indeed like this video and maybe even consider dropping a sub. A lot of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel, and when somebody new subscribes to my channel, it gives me a warm feeling in my ball, a warm feeling in my heart when a new person joins this little community. Anywho, latest. Baba Booey Baba Booey